Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today it's going to be my final update as part of my low buy. As you recall, I was doing a six month low buy, so this is going to be how I spent my June budget. I have decided not to extend the low buy beyond June, just as I felt that if I wanted to continue budgeting, then I could do so without imparting such strict and stringent rules on myself. I also wanted to have some flexibility in terms of what I can add to my closet, in terms of being able to share some more interesting and informative videos here on YouTube which kind of does bring me to my first question that I want to ask and I would love any feedback that you have to share with me is what kind of videos are you enjoying watching on YouTube right now because I'm finding myself watching a little bit less than I did previously it's really interesting sort of seeing how my viewing preferences and tastes have changed so things that I might have watched a year ago I'm less interested in watching now and I don't know if this is just because I'm spending a little bit more time watching short form or consuming consuming short form content because I feel a bit burnt out. I don't know, are you guys feeling the same way? But I want to know what you are interested in seeing. Uh, I think this is one of the reasons why I'm really keen to start doing my brand review videos because uh, when it comes to actually adding anything to my closet, I'm doing a lot more shopping online. It is definitely more challenging to get to the shops when you've got an infant and a toddler, uh, even when our boy is at daycare. Uh, just kind of getting into the city with the pram and then having the unpredictability of when they're going to need to feed etc It does make it a little bit harder and a much less enjoyable experience So being able to see how things fit on other people and what the quality of the material is like etc etc I find that really useful for myself. So I'm hoping that I can kind of um, Share that same sort of information with the level of detail that I like to consider when I'm adding anything new to my wardrobe uh, But also I would like to do the odd vlog uh, maybe when our son's at daycare and I've just got a daughter and I can go out with the pram but yeah that was kind of the first thing I wanted to ask uh, June has just been another month that has kind of flown by in the blink of an eye I can't believe we're halfway through the year it's kind of just blowing my mind my godmother came and visited us from New Zealand uh, she was best friends with my mum and so every single time I see her she always has some really great stories to share with me about the trouble that her and my mum would get up to when they were younger and I love it um, so it was it was really really nice to have her come and stay for a week um, very special because I hadn't seen her in two and a half years um, so yeah let's let's talk about what I actually purchased this month and I feel like I had a lot of shopping fails in the month of June I purchased multiple things and then ended up returning them I have one return here which I will actually show you on camera which I love but just hasn't worked out for me and I'll explain why but um, let's talk about the first item which kind of made it to the hit list, something I really love, and it's very, very different for me. I actually shared this on stories on Instagram and over on my TikTok, which I'm trying to post on there a little bit more frequently. And gosh, can I say this print was incredibly divisive. I bought two items from the brand, both these pieces from an Australian brand called Steel. Um, and I bought a jacket which I loved I saw it on Jasmine Dowling and I'd, I'd already wanted it before that but that kind of cemented my love of this piece I can't even tell you how many DMs I received on Instagram just with the word no and that was it it was really funny I still think it's a gorgeous jacket uh, it's very much a statement piece and I especially liked it when it was worn inside out with the black and then the floral piping however I appreciate it's not for everyone and I have a very very similar jacket from Mal so I really couldn't justify keeping both so I decided to keep the set, which I thought would be perfect for the summer. Um, I think because I have so many basics in my wardrobe already, I've got all of my neutrals down pat. I'm sort of at this point where I would like to add in some items that are a bit more fun, that are a bit more emotional. Maybe they're not going to be something I wear on rotation as frequently as my basics, but I think it's important to have a good mix of both. So went for this set, it's in this gorgeous floral. It's uh, almost a purple blue floral, uh, it's got turquoise, yellow and white and then black. So uh, really cute. Micro florals are something that don't ever go out of style, they come back every single year for spring summer. Um, so this is the top of the set, it does have the uh, banding on the inside so that it won't slip, which I like, and it is smocked at the back so it's got lots of stretch. 
Um, I've got the little crop in a small. I wouldn't normally go for a crop like this, but I actually thought it would be quite nice worn over a t-shirt, even a shirt, uh, maybe worn some incredibly high-waisted trousers. Uh, that's one way I could wear this a few, uh, with a few different uh, variations. And then of course I got the matching skirt to go with it too, which is this really beautiful maxi length. Has the elasticated waist. I originally bought the small, but I sent it back to exchange it for the extra small because I found it just had a little bit too much room around the waist because I do want to wear it a little bit higher up. I don't want to accentuate my long waist. Uh, I want to have a little bit of midriff showing but I don't want to have too much. And this is incredibly comfortable to wear. It's cotton, it has a cotton lining as well, which means that it is not sheer, and it has the little tie at the waist so that you can tie it really nice and tight. But I just thought it's such a fun piece, and it will really elevate my working from home outfits because in the summertime, I have to tell you, if it's really, really hot here, if it's kind of 35 degrees plus, I'm generally just wearing a little tank bra and some shorts. So I think that this will be a really nice option to wear to feel a little bit nice set. The other item I purchased are a pair of shoes um, and these I bought in anticipation of my sister's wedding which is coming up towards the end of the year. So I'm in the bridal party uh, and we're wearing, actually I'm not going to tell you what colour the dress is, um, but the uh, theme of the outfit she wants us to wear black shoes. So I wanted to get a shoe that was really comfortable. I purchased these ones from Witchery. I think I got them for about $50. They were an absolute bargain and what I liked about them is they have this really puffy they have a really puffy strap across the foot which is really comfortable and then the heel height is not unreasonable I am thinking because the strap around the ankle it wraps around multiple times I don't necessarily find that to be the most flattering and I think it's just a little bit too heavy with the dress that she selected for us to wear so I might take these to a uh, leather worker so that they can cut the strap so it's just it just wraps around the ankle once but really really pleased with those and those I got in a size 40 I think they'll still be available on the website so I'll try and link them they did come in a really beautiful eggshell blue kind of a color as well which I thought was stunning um, then in terms of items I sent back the first thing was a pair of sandals from Nelson Made. I've been wanting to purchase something from this brand for a really long time and I had 20% off so I decided to go for it. The sandals themselves are so beautifully made but they are not really ideal for wide feet. I found the strap that went across the foot was just a little bit too narrow. So in the end I decided to return those. I also went in and tried on a dress from Beckenbridge, which is another Australian brand. Uh, this is a really lovely little cotton dress. It has a tie back detail, very similar to a dress I bought from them about a year and a half ago, which I ended up selling because it just became too small for me. I'd gotten gastro and then I think I lost a few kilos and so I dropped a size. Anyway, long story short, I sold that dress, but I loved this detail on it, which had a tie uh, at the back of the bust and then you had a slight open section at the back. I'm not a big fan of cutouts, but that is one I can definitely get on board with. However, when I tried it on, it just didn't feel exciting. It didn't really do anything for me. And I decided ultimately it just wasn't the one. I have a really beautiful teared dress from Mal, and I also have one from Matto as well. And I liked those more than I liked this dress. I did think the detail on the bus was quite pretty though. But clearly I'm drawn to a very specific sort of a style of item. Then, then one of the other things I was looking at getting was a pair of boots from By Far. I think they're called the Edie boots and they come up to just below the knee. I've been looking at these boots for a really long time and I had thought about potentially getting them with a discount because I didn't spend all of my budget last month. This was early on in the month by the way so before I'd made any other purchases. Um, but in the end I decided not to get them and the reason being was that I realized that these boots are not indicative or reflective of my personal style and they'd be one of those items I had in my wardrobe which wouldn't get worn at all. So ultimately it felt like a poor use of my budget and as beautiful as they are I figured best left in the shots for someone who would come along and actually get the wear out of them. Final item that I wanted to talk about which I'm going to be organizing a return for today I think if I can. Um, I bought these from the Essence sale and I absolutely love their sales. I think they do some of the best ones out there and I spotted these and they're from a brand that I really really like. Now it's a Korean brand with a French name and so I'm not sure if you would pronounce it as and mind my pronunciation Le Deceptive or if you pronounce it 
Le 17 September. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, that's the brand that they're from. If you know, by the way, please let me know. So these are the said sandals. The reason why I wanted to get these is because I have a very sort of similar vibe pair from St. Agni, which is an Australian brand. And I really like them. I, I want to get on board with this more chunky sandal vibe. But I'm, I'm still on the lookout for the perfect ones. I want something that has fewer straps across the foot that isn't quite as thick strapped across the foot as, say, the Birkenstock Arizona sandals are. And these, to me, are perfect in every single way, except for the fact that they are designed for very narrow feet. I tried them on and my foot was literally hanging over the side and I was so devastated because they are really quite chic. They just have the little strap across the toe and then they have a vel Velcro strap around the ankle. They're actually really nice on and they have a Vibram sole so they're very very comfortable. It's kind of a spongy sole so you, I feel like these would be great for walking around in all day. In terms of actual length, they fit true to size. I got the EU40, but yeah, they're just way, way, way too narrow for me. So very sad to be sending these ones back. I did want to mention them just in case you've had your eye on this particular style, you've been looking for something like these, I think they'd be a great option. I am almost tempted to just buy a pair of Teva sandals because they'd be a lot less expensive than getting something like this. Um, but I'm not really sure if they're my style either, the, the strap down the side. So I kind of want something that's a little bit less full on like these. Oh, I didn't really explain about the St. Agnes sandals. Sorry, uh, they rain I'm everywhere at the moment. I really like those sandals. However, they are also designed for narrow feet and the footbed is really firm and it's sort of molded for a narrow foot. So while I've never gotten a single blister wearing them, I don't find them very comfortable to wear on the arch of my foot and the base of my foot because I sort of feel like I'm squeezing into something that's a little bit too small. If that makes sense. So I have been looking for a replacement, those ones I'm hoping to eventually sell. So that is sort of what I purchased this month, what I returned. Uh, I didn't end up spending all of my budget this month either, like last month, so that's also a really, really good feeling too. Now I did purchase one item outside of the scope of my low buy, it was a piece of makeup and it was actually a replacement for something that uh, I had inadvertently ruined. It's an eyeliner. So it was one of those eyeliners that almost has a paintbrush tip. So it has these small fibers and I think I must have gotten them caught in the cap because a few of them were bent back and it was just making using the eyeliner extremely challenging. And I would say it was actually probably at the point where I needed to replace it anyway. So when I was at our local Westfield, I did pick another one of those up. I really like the specific eyeliner because it is dark brown and it's not black. I find that uh, because my complexion does tend to pull quite fair during the cooler months, especially because I didn't really spend any time out in the sun over the summer just gone. Uh, I, a black eyeliner can just be a little bit too harsh and just create too much contrast on my face, which I already have. So I like the brown because it is softer and it just looks softer on the eyes. And I have been doing a less pronounced wing as well because I feel like I'm just accentuating my eye shape without uh, drawing too much attention to the eyeliner itself. So yeah, I'm, I will link that eyeliner down below because it is a really great one. It's kind of been my go-to for the past maybe year and a half. It's just brilliant. So yeah, that is how I spent my budget this month. I don't really have any other sort of fashion topics that I wanted to discuss in detail at the moment. I think I'm just a little bit too sleep deprived to uh, think about anything in intense detail or with any really high level of scrutiny that I normally would. But yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for spending some of your day with me. I hope that you have an incredible week ahead and I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you very soon. Bye.